Hello there, Erunar here, and we will review Dorian's in the Troy. Dorian starts with the Cleodaeus hero, which is very offensive, has, he has a lot of melee attack and offensive abilities, either to boost his attack even more, to uh, boost his damage or speed, or even route enemy unit as fast as possible. Let's start with his uh, infantry, the militia, very cheap, affordable, uh, but very weak and not recommended unit. We should consider the Dorian Clubman, which is improved version of the mi mentioned militia. Uh, it is very fast with 55 speed this make it very noticeable in the actual combat then we have standard spearman uh, which is a bad unit weak unit and thankfully with dorians we have dorian young spears which are lighter and much better in the combat plus they can throw one javelin for free and what makes them much better is the expert charge defense ability. You can just spread and hold your Dorian Yang Spears. They will negate any enemy charge and take less damage overall. If we go to tier 2, we can choose Light Spearman, which is a slightly better and more expensive unit. But you have to recruit it from the Watchtower. Then we have in the early game very good fast charger and flanker unit, Dorian Riders. They are very mobile, they have pretty good attack, strong weapon and flanking attack improved. I highly recommend using this unit in the early game. Then in the mid game we, we got standard Shielded Spearmen, which are good thanks to their Battlefield Healing and Two-Handed mode. Otherwise, they are not so good frontline. Then, another frontline option, more offensive one, is Dorian Warriors. They have less de defense, but more off offensive powers, m faster better weapon and two new abilities one new ability is reckless charge which is absolutely helpful when you are chasing routed units the extra speed uh, helps you to increase your speed from 44, 42 to above 50 and extra charge bonus is also nice to make you can transfer this unit from the front line into charger. Very good situational ability. And then we have the new ability Dorian Resilience. This is flat missile resist. It reduces missile damage by 20%. So, and yes, your shield is blocking the arrows, the trees and Trees are blocking another missile projectiles and if some of them will hit, it will get reduced. So Dorians are very good at reducing missile damage. Next good charger unit are Dorian chargers. They also have missile resist, flanking attack improved, very good charge weapon offensive combat stats uh, for a medium unit the 42 speed is pretty fast then we have very good standard flanker unit club warriors they have very good combat stats javelin speeds everything you need however they are just light and the last mid, mid tier infantry unit are Dorian Spearmen, which have 
uh, a lot of defense also have experts charge the defense so this is your typical front line which can just sit there hold and wait for enemies and extra missile resist is mm, nice when you go when you go to the end game or late game we can choose Heraclides Spearman which is same but better stats and also even more missile resist. This works very well with the shield and the forest buff. Then we have the Heraclides Champions. What makes them solid chargers is not just the missile resist and good stats but also the Furious Charge. This means the enemy will lose defense when you are attacking frontally. And with, this is very strong in the actual battles. You can quickly route enemies. And then we have very last elite unit. A good kill line or the duelist which has reckless charge, our turbo button, more resist, very good damage and charge. So let's go to the missiles with very good typical Ekian slings, always recommended. On the other hand we have javelins in this faction and usually cheap javelins are not good but I will tell you why this javelin is much better than you. It, it seems. It's not just 50 speed, which is more than any other. It is also not just good range and relatively good damage for early game unit. But here we have also the turbo ability and I will show you this unit in the battle. Then we always skip the bowman. It's relatively it's bad unit. You can go with the Torian Hunters as the melee upgrade. Slightly slower, better in melee, uh, better javelins, typical standard upgrade. And the very last upgrade is the Heracleide Huntsman with even better even better combat stats a very good weapon and what else we have very good de javelin damage we also have to turbo ability and we 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 are using less stamina how about chariots we just don't have chariots in this roster that's one problem of this faction but since you have good um, good heavy units good javelins and m many of units have turbo ability you can deal with this problem and I will show you in the battle just now I have started the campaign you are what you see is what you get in the campaign and enemy is bringing his own forces plus the settlement garrison. So I have grouped my units as frontline around hero. Then we have the improved militia, Darian clubmen behind. So they will be supporting the frontline. Or filling the gaps and then we have the the missiles look at this uh, speed 68 speed this is why you are going to bring javelins in battles they they will be much faster and since they are going to skirmish they will be followed by flankers or chargers behind. 
and let me show you how the speed difference how it how the speed bonus makes the difference also the hero can have can use the speed bonus so I can come much faster here L look at this this kind of difference then I don't I have not seen my enemy because he was coming hidden and behind the hill so I have decided to make a line and use this terrain as additional line or protection and then use my skirmishers and flankers to, to win battles in this area okay let's uh, wait for the enemies and watch how we have played this out enemy has quite a lot of units and skirmishing will begin enemy slings will open fire to our front line our javelins are getting into the position enemy is going to storm my units and here I will try to use skirmishers to do some damage to unshielded young spears let's have a look what is going on my front line is okay enemy hero is going to duel my uh, Dorian Clubman which is uh, bad for me and I will have to focus more on this side to win one small detail since uh, one of my frontline intercepted uh, enemy militia I can bring my hero and go and duel or two versus one this militia very quickly meanwhile what is going on I am going look at this young spears almost lost half of the HP and I will bring my chargers to finish them off and then bring other chargers to enemy hero always I'll be careful with javelins as you can see I am pulling them away another reason is because of this big speed I can run away much much better easier and bring another unit instead it's much easier when you have big speed bonus same here went back with the javelins charging with chargers look at these young spears they are going to ra route right now they are already wavering that's pretty good enemy hero is going to take a lot of damage enemy AI is going to do some good flanking against me but I do flanking by myself have you have I told you about Dorian youths you can use them in melee to chase away uh, routed units and therefore I can bring my uh, riders here to go two versus one right here very good synergy let's continue with the battle it's going to be more messy right here even though I'm winning right here dealing a lot of extra damage because I can supporting my blob again I will have to go back with my turbo javelins and bring chargers against enemy chargers so again another young spear unit is going to get decimated very quickly 
Yes, it's routing right now. Your warriors are losing heart. My front line is almost collapsing. I have to quickly bring chargers to help. And don't be afraid to use your javelins in melee. It's always worth it. Okay, here we have a damage for free. We are breaking them here as well. One of your units has no more ammunition. So with chargers, Dorian chargers and riders, it is mm, nice to deal a lot of damage or kills. Another turbo charging into young spears and they will rout very quickly. Dorian battles can be a little bit messy, m maybe a little bit cheesy, a lot of cycle charging back and forth, but it's really enjoyable. Another routing, enemies are fleeing, even though we were outnumbered. Just to check the stats, our value, our front line was holding enough, Hero was doing a lot. You have seen uh, our cheap early game javelins to do something in the combat and the most of the killing was done by the riders and chargers. So that it, that is, let's see you later.